in today's video I'm going to be talking all about buying pre-owned luxury handbags it was requested in a couple of my other videos because you guys do know that I love buying pre-owned I would have to say that probably half of my collection is pre-owned just because I think you can get such great deals and if you know what to look for you can really really find some nice pieces so if you would like to know my tips and tricks all about buying pre-owned please keep watching I've actually done a video like this this, but it was years ago sorry I'm trying to like balance my you know I still have this cold <laughs> but I did this video a couple of years ago but since then I have more information more resources and I have since bought more pre-owned so um, the first thing I want to talk about is research. The number one thing you want to do when you're thinking about buying a pre-owned bag is do your research. This includes asking friends, asking family, looking on YouTube, going on the purse forum, which I don't know if people still post on that, but I use that as a big resource guide for myself. Um, any groups on Facebook, I know there are lots of handbag groups, literally getting all the information you need to know. So when I want a new bag and I know that I don't want to buy it in store, whether because it's sold out or I want to discontinue color that came out years ago, I always do my research. So I want to know if it's a specific color, when did that color come out, what season it was. Then I go on the purse form and I look at every detailed picture because majority of the time you can get things authenticated, but I like to just authenticate them myself if I can, if I know the brand. So I literally go through every nook and cranny of the bag. So with my most recent purchase of my Chloe Fay, I looked at all the pictures on the purse form of the bag and the certain color that I wanted that came out the specific year. I went and looked at pictures on the website. I looked at reviews on YouTube. I scanned that bag from top to bottom, inside and out. I know how many stitches are in certain places. I know the specific metal used. I know the specific like shape of the hardware. I know um, what colors came out and what seasons. And this is important because in my mind, Someone who makes fake bags, they're probably just making bags to sell them, but I don't think they're really gonna think about details such as correct stitching, placement of patterns, if it is a monogram bag, whether or not the color even exists. I'm sure there are colors of bags that are not <laughs> real authentic colors. So those are all things to take into account, but research is going to be your biggest thing. If there's a particular bag that I know nothing about, I'm not gonna buy it pre-owned unless I do all my research and know like as much as I can about that bag because you will get screwed over and people will take advantage of you. But when in doubt, always get it authenticated. But if you don't wanna go through the hassle of doing that yourself, just do your research, okay? The second thing would be to ask friends and others. So if there's a particular bag that you like that one of your friends has, ask to see it i'm sure they'll let you look it over just so that you can kind of get a feel of the materials no maybe even the smell of the bag i think i've heard of people getting bags in the mail authentic that smell really bad so it's really good for you to know what you should be expecting when you see a real bag and asking your friends and family that's all going to go into the research part of it please do your research I promise, but this is like anything. The more you know, the better equipped you're gonna be to buy pre-owned bags, okay? The third tip is to get them authenticated. There are many resources to get bags authenticated. If you buy directly from a pre-loved website such as Fashion File, they're gonna do their own authentication, but there is a service, who do I use on Facebook? I think it's called pro authenticators and they might do more than Louis Vuitton. So you can always find an authentication service to do those authentications for you, which is always good if you're in doubt, get it authenticated. I've gotten to the point where I can buy stuff off eBay, especially Louis Vuitton, get it and feel it and know that it's authentic and I don't have to worry about getting it authenticated just because I have so many pieces and I know the brand. But if you're just getting into buying pre-owned bags, I would say your best bet, if you don't wanna do tons of research, even if you do, is to get it authenticated. So my fourth tip is going to be groups. Now, I'm going to link a group down below. This group sometimes goes away and they have backup groups. So I'm gonna put the two links down below, but it's basically called 
um, LV Addicted by Chat and Sell. That is a great resource. The ladies there are awesome. If you're ever buying a bag and you're unsure of its authenticity, you can post it in the group. People buy and sell on that group. I have bought and sold on that group. They might not so much as give you tips on what to look for when buying in terms of something being authentic or not, but they're definitely going to give you some tips on whether or not the bag that you're looking to buy is authentic. So that's another great resource. I, I believe there are other groups on Facebook for like Chanel, Hermes, um, probably everything. But I'm only in the Louis Vuitton one because that is what I love the most. So definitely check out the Facebook groups. My fifth tips are going to be for buying on eBay. Now I love buying on eBay. I love buying on eBay mainly because a lot of times if you don't want to sell to like a fashion file or something, you can sell it yourself and you're going to get more money for your items. So I like to look at eBay and the pre-owned websites just because I feel like Sometimes it is better to get items from a private seller. Now, there are some things you should be aware of when you are looking at sellers, and the number one thing is going to be pictures and feedback. So, as far as pictures go, I believe with eBay you can post an unlimited amount of pictures, but you wanna make sure you're getting pictures of the front and back of the bag, the inside, the stitching, um, the canvas lineup if it is a canvas bag, the date code, what else? Um, Basically that's it, but you want to make sure you can see the key areas that can indicate if a bag is authentic or not. And the biggest thing is going to be that date code. And this is where your research comes into play because let's say I want a Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier. Those were not in production, if I'm correct, before a certain year. So if the date code says 2001 and that bag didn't come into production until 2007, you're automatically going to know that that is a fake. You also should research how to look at date codes. I'm going to put a link down below. I believe after 2008, if I'm not mistaken, the first and third number are going to tell you the month and the second and fourth number are going to tell you the year. And the two letters in the front will tell you the country it's made. That's also important. Uh, a lot of SLGs are made in Spain. A lot of bags are now made in USA. I think a lot of speedies overall are made in the USA. So your date code is going to be crucial. Also, if you're buying a bag that says it's made in 2018, but it's really, really patinaed, that's going to be a marker as well. Unless that person just really used it, but that would be where you're gonna wanna ask questions. Whenever I'm buying a bag from someone on eBay. I like to know if they used it a lot, if they have cat, if they smoke, anything like that that's going to help me get a better grasp on the condition of the bag. That's very important, but I would say the most important thing would be that date code. Now, when it comes to feedback, I like to look at their seller feedback. I know when I'm selling on eBay, I don't like to sell luxury things to someone who doesn't have at least a hundred stars or 100 feedbacks because more often than not when I have sold my pricier items to people who only had three transactions they don't pay and that's a hassle and you want to make sure you're protected I know PayPal protects you and eBay does as well if someone does not pay but it's just better to weed out those people who may seem a little shady the same thing goes when you're buying so if I'm looking at a Louis Vuitton uh, keep ball and this person has tons of other Louis Vuitton items, maybe they're an actual store, an eBay store, that's okay. If I'm looking at a Louis Vuitton keep and the person selling it has maybe 50 stars, so they've had 50 transactions, and all of their other items are like, Disney collectibles, that's going to kind of raise a red flag. So in those situations, I would look at their feedback and see if you can find any detailed feedback of that person selling other items. So in my mind, all of these things kind of come into play when buying from private sellers on eBay, but the biggest thing is going to be to do your own research first so that you know what to look for. 
Um, what's another thing on eBay? Oh, now a lot of my SLGs that I get from eBay, I like to buy them from Japan sellers because a lot of the times they're going to already come with a proof of authenticity or they're going to have a money back guarantee, which is always good. A lot of times they are official eBay stores. So you're going to see tons and tons of different brands, tons of the same brands, just a lot of vintage products. Like those are all key signs that this person is doing this as a business and more often than not you can trust them Japan also has strict rules in terms of selling counterfeit items so more often than not if you're buying something from an eBay store in Japan it's pretty likely that you're going to find an authentic piece but once again you can always get those items authenticated so with eBay for me especially with Louis Vuitton it's all about finding a store you like and i'm gonna post all my ebay stores down below that i like to shop from from mainly mainly for louis vuitton but i have my key stores that i go to when i'm looking for items i have stores that i know always have the quality of goods and um what i'm exactly looking for but when it comes to other brands i really don't have any like go-to sellers but the most important things to look for are the pictures their selling history and get more detailed information on the back. So that would be um, my tips about buying from eBay. The sixth set of tips are going to be for reputable sites. Now I have used Fashion File, I have used the Louis Vuitton Facebook group, um, I think that's about it but there are other websites and I will link those down below as well. I think there's like My Teresa. Uh, Yogi's Closet or Yugi's Closet, The Real Real. So there are other websites where you can get authentic pre-owned handbags and accessories. I've just only done business with Fashion File. I tend to like their inventory. It's hassle-free. They have great customer service. So my personal preference is Fashion File. And the seventh tip is going to be research the market as far as prices. Now, this is important, especially when you're looking at bags that are very hot right now, such as the Pochette Mati or the Favorite. Those bags are pretty much sold out in all the stores and online. So when you look on the pre-owned market, you might find them slightly marked up. Now, I know I have y'all know my friend Kelly who has her channel here on YouTube. She always says like why would somebody pay over market value for a pre-owned bag? Now, in my mind, I've never done this, but if I'm going to pay over market, it better be in great condition and it better be sold out. But there's only a certain percentage over the retail price that I would pay for a pre-owned bag. But you're definitely going to want to do your research when it comes to knowing the prices because you want to know if you're getting a great deal as far as the condition of the bag, when it was made, is it in high demand or not, and all of those things. So those are basically all the tips I have for you guys, but I hope they've helped you to kind of make better and more informed decisions when buying authentic luxury pieces online. But the biggest thing I would say guys is to just do your research when I start thinking of a bag I want it honestly takes me about a month of doing research to know is it the bag I want do I know everything about it to know if it's authentic if I get it and it's not or maybe I got it authenticated but I really like to do all my research so that I know pros and cons of the bag um, how the inside of the bag looks compared to something that might not be authentic so definitely do your research it is a lengthy process but I love doing stuff like this because I love bags and I love the process of researching them and getting them and it's just so much fun. So I hope this video was able to help you guys. If you have more comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.